tonight. We're learning more about the man who allegedly set a cop car on fire in front of a South Florida synagogue. Police say the arsonist recorded the attack and posted it on Instagram. That helped police track him down. Local 10's Ian Margul is live with why the accused firebug says he did it. Ian. His name is Brian Bocage. He's here from this area. He's 21 years old. He's now facing multiple arson charges. And that's because he's suspected in not only this case with the Lauder Hill police car, but actually another arson case from right here in our area. Your attorney is invoking your right to remain silent. That means you don't talk to anybody about the case. And when I say anybody, I mean anybody without your attorney present. Do you understand? Yes, yes, okay, just as long as you understand. 21 year old Brian Bocage now charged with multiple counts of arson, criminal okay. mischief, and possessing and manufacturing firebombs. After police say he set this Lauder Hill police car on fire while it was sitting in the parking lot of the Inverary Chabad. We're glad that he's off the streets and not a danger to society. Video from Bakaj's own Instagram account appears to show a first-hand view of the arson. You can see in this clip someone dumping an accelerant on the police car before setting it on fire. And in a disturbing twist to his case, his social media page shows several other similar acts as well. In this clip, someone throws what appear to be Molotov cocktail-like firebombs at the North Lauderdale Veterans Memorial. Be not afraid of them. And in this clip, they do the same at a Civil War monument in Tennessee. So Bakash doesn't have much of a criminal history before this, but according to his arrest form from this case, he did admit to police that he used gasoline to help start that fire. He says he wasn't trying to target police or the Jewish community. He says he knew that the car was empty and that no one would be hurt. As for why he did it, though, he says he spoke with God and God told him to. He is now being held on bond of more than $160,000. Live in Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.